welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Who wins, Vasily Lomachenko or Tiafimo to take over Lopez? Look, let's just break it down. This is a fight that's been building for quite a while now. Tiafimo Lopez has hyped this fight up. He's talked a lot of trash, and now the time has come for him to have to back up his talk. You know, Tiafimo Lopez is known as a knockout artist. The guy has a lot of power, and he stated many times that he's going to put Vasil Lomachenko to sleep. On the other hand, you have Vasily Nomachenko, you know, high tech, the matrix, a guy who will put you in the matrix, who will make you no mas. So this will be an interesting turn of events when these two guys face each other. The, the talk will stop, and the fighting will commence. Who wins this fight? And, you know, this is probably one of the hardest predictions or one of the easiest, depending if you like one of these guys' style. Let's break it down. Look at, uh, you know, Vasily Lomachenko. The guy has 14 wins, one loss, 10 knockouts. He has a 66% knockout rate. Uh, Teofimo Lopez, on the other hand, is undefeated. Uh, he's 15-0 with 12 knockouts and an 80% knockout ratio. So, you know, this is going to be an extremely entertaining fight because it's not like the guy is coming. These guys are facing each other with clashing styles. These styles are not the same. So, you know, this fight, it should not go the distance. And if it does, somebody's getting brutalized. We all know that. So let's just break the fight down bit by bit, piece by piece, and who has the edge in each category. And we start off with the experience, and that has to be Vasil Lomachenko. Vasil Lomachenko has to have the overwhelming experience over Teofimo Lopez because he has the best top-level experience. But the guy has 300-plus amateur fights as well. All of that experience adds up and helps Vasil Lomachenko because he's seen opponents that were big punchers before. He's seen explosive knockout punches before he's had a lot of time to face these type of styles Teofimo Lopez doesn't do anything particularly extremely elite other than knock people out uh, you know Vasil Lomachenko you know he had a dominant run in becoming a three-weight world champion and he's currently a Hall of Famer. If you look at his resume, he's a pound for pound superstar in only 15 fights. I mean, you got to think about it like this. This guy's beat top fighters such as Jorge Linares, Luke Campbell, Gary Russell, and Nicholas Walters. So at the end of the day, you know, you can say a lot about Vasil Lomachenko, but the guy is a certified Hall of Famer, certified pound for pound fighter. He's one of the best fighters in the world. And skill for skill, the guy is up there with the best, if not the best. You got to give Vasil Lomachenko all the credit in the world and his experience will carry him a long way as that will be a major advantage for him in this fight now on the other hand you have Tiafimo Lopez and he has the advantage of the power in this fight he has a lot more power in this fight and as you all know power can change the course of the fight with one punch Tiafimo Lopez doesn't need to land 10 punches to beat Vasil Lomachenko no he only needs one solidly placed punch and the victory can be his it's that simple of a game plan, but it's not going to be simple or easy to execute that game plan. You look at it like this. Teofimo Lopez has elite power for the division. He stopped Richard Comey, who has never been stopped before. His power can change a fight at any moment, and he has an 80% knockout rate. You know, look at Vasil Lomachenko. His power relies on accumulation of shot. He doesn't have the same raw strength and power that Teofimo Lopez does. And the fact that Teofimo Lopez is so explosive, so powerful, and and so quick that is what makes this fight intriguing wondering thinking can he land that that significant punch at any given moment in the fight which will turn the tide and shock the world hence the takeover now the ring iq has to go towards vasil lomachenko in this fight he has to have the highest ring iq out of you know these two fighters i mean look at it this guy made four straight opponents in a row quit he no mas four straight guys in a row. You know, Sosa, Walters, Rigo, Mariaga, Vasil Lomachenko. It takes a lot to make a guy quit. I mean, you have to think about it. These are professional fighters. Most guys will sit in there and just take a beating. But Vasil Lomachenko frustrated, humiliated, and punished these guys that made these dudes quit quit that takes a high level rank iq high level of expertise and a high level of thinking and this guy 
hadn't even been pushed to his absolute best and he did this. That is extremely scary for Vasil Lomachenko. Now, when you look at it, you look at these guys, they both have an individual path to victory, but both of them do have a good path to victory. Now, when we start with Teofimo Lopez, his path to victory is, you know, you take a little bit from the Orlando Salido fight. Orlando Salido did beat Vasil Lomachenko. He made it an ugly contest. He showed him no respect. He roughed him up every second of every minute of that fight and you know he got the victory whether people want to agree with it or not uh Vasil Lomachenko was brought down to earth and was shown as human when Orlando Salido got the victory over him so Tiafimo Lopez needs to go back look at that fight and pick up a few things apply pressure be ruthless show no respect show no mercy and put everything on the line don't give Vasil Lomachenko one minute or one second to think because if you do you will pay for it. Uh, you know, another thing that Teofimo Lopez had to learn from all of this in Loma's history and his past, a part of his path to victory, is that we've seen Lomachenko on the, uh, on, on the canvas hurt before. I mean, you've seen Jorge Linares drop him and hurt him. You've seen Luke Campbell drop, you know, he didn't drop him, but he did hurt him. And he admitted that Luke Campbell hurt him and landed some big shots on him. So Vasil Lomachenko even said that out of his own mouth. There's still some fanboys that are in denial that Loma was never hurt. That's nonsense. Don't believe it. At the end of the day, Vasil Lomachenko's human. Uh, you know, he's a great fighter, he's an elite fighter, but he has been hurt. And that doesn't mean he'll win or lose the fight. It's just simply a fact. And it's something that Tiafimo Lopez can gain confidence from, knowing that if he can land flush, he can hurt him too. It is possible. So, you know, Tiafimo needs to look for the knockout. And look, here's his keys to victory. You know, he has to apply immense amount of pressure on Vasil Lomachenko. He has to cut the ring off on Vasil Lomachenko. He has to attack the body to give him a diverse attack. And he also has to show absolutely no respect for Vasil Lomachenko. Showing respect, being hesitant, overthinking your position are all things that will hurt you in this fight. Teofimo Lopez must show no respect. Those are his keys to victory. Now, on the other hand, when you look at Vasil Lomachenko's keys and paths to victory, you look at it, you've seen uh, Teofimo Lopez. He, he has a limited amount of top level experience. And when he fought a guy like Naka Katani, his boxing abilities were somewhat exposed. You know, he got touched up and hit a lot. And imagine if Vasil Lomachenko applied an immense amount of pressure to a guy like this, that could sway the fight. Teofimo Lopez looked frustrated and uncomfortable in that fight. He even stated after the fight that it was an absolute nightmare. Tim Bradley stated that he got exposed after the fight. And so, you know, it said a lot about Teofimo Lopez in that one particular fight. So the keys to victory for Vasil Lomachenko are use your feet. Your, his feet is probably some of the best in boxing period so i have to give Vasil lomachenko that uh you know use angles to frustrate teofimo lopez you know using angles catching him off guard give him you know hitting him with shots that he never sees coming that is going to cause a lot of problems for teofimo lopez and it's going to make him overthink overreact and maybe do something stupid uh you know and use strategic pressure you know don't just rush in trying to hurt Tiafimo. use strategic pressure because what he wants to do is you know draw you into a brawl you don't want to get into a brawler with the guy if he lands one shot it's over you want to go in and apply strategic pressure you know use your offense as your defense at spurts and at points in the fight don't do it consistently always have him guessing when the next spurt is going to come and be a counter puncher in this fight you know let Tiafimo throw his best shots let him go head hunting because likely if a guy's looking for the knockout all night he's going to start head hunting counter him every chance you get make him pay for throwing all of those shots and then then in turn watch him become very very hesitant so look this fight in my opinion everybody has their own opinion everybody sees the fight completely different but in my opinion i have this as a 50 50 fight and it's based on contrasting boxing styles both of these guys have different styles both of these guys are, are pretty good fighters so you know you see this is going to be a very interesting fight but you know i have it a close fight i have it right down the middle but i have to pick somebody in this fight and so basically who do i give the edge to to get the victory i could see either guy winning i see a path for either guy i can see tiafimo lopez knocking out vasil lomachenko but i can also see vasil lomachenko taking tiafimo lopez dragging him into deep waters and drowning him i can see this fight going two 
different ways. It's a close fight in my opinion, but only one guy can win and I have to give the edge to Vasil Lomachenko based on his experience, based on his ring IQ. Those two things are going to be huge in this fight and they could make all the difference in the world. I have to give the edge to Vasily Lomachenko. But once again, unbiased as always, is the IBFP.